Agent 365 is the answer to the biggest blockers that organizations are facing in regards to agent adoption. And I'm currently sitting at Microsoft Ignite. It is the end of the day. A lot of the sessions have wrapped up and today they announced Agent 365 in this tool. And I sat in as many sessions as I could. And I wanted to kind of help explain and break it down in a simple form for you. And in full transparency, this is, I will not be showing my screen or anything. So this really is just a quick talking head explaining what it is very briefly to you and what it can do and how it answers these objections and blockers that organizations have. Agent 365, what it is and what does it do? It is a platform all within the M365 Admin Center that gives you the observability and the governance that organizations so intensely desire. And so the first thing is it provides visibility in an agent registry. And so this agent registry is just a list of all the different agents within your tenant, as well as third party agents that you maybe have connected. You can add them to this registry and be able to see them within that list as well. And this allows you to see not just like the names of the agents, but also the threats that these agents have based off of what they're connected to, the knowledge things that these are connected to. And so, like I said, glorified list of all of the agents within your system. It also allows you to enforce access controls. And a lot of the enforceability around the controls isn't necessarily actually within A365, as they're calling it, or Agent 365. It's actually in the other platforms like Defender, Purview, and Entra, which I'm not necessarily going to be talking about in this video, but some of the benefits and the purposes that each of those serve, I'll, I'll mention at the end. And then the third thing is it provides easy access and kind of tapping into that visibility portion. There's this one really cool thing that they were showing in the screenshots or in the presentations, and that was this map. And I don't have a way to show it on my screen or anything like that, but here's a photo that I took of the PowerPoint slides where they were showing it. And this actually is, think of it like a heat map where it's gonna show you where the different agents are in your organization, what they're talking to, how some are closely related, and how much they're being used all within this map for some extra visibility. Now, that's kind of that. That's what Agent 365, what it sounds like it's doing for you. I wanted to highlight some notable metrics, you know, as we talk about observability that I wrote down that I thought were pretty, pretty unique. And so the first one is there's, you know, kind of an overview where you can see a bunch of different metrics. And these are going to show you patterns of usage, as well as adoption percentages and things like how many conversations are happening on a daily basis. One metric that I thought was pretty cool is it's going to show you a breakdown of time savings. Now, at this point, I have no idea how that is calculated, but a breakdown to show you this agent has saved you X amount of hours this month across your organization for all of your users. I think that's pretty cool, especially as we talk about return on investment. And then also agents that require attention are all going to be things that are kind of viewable in this overview screen. You can also see things like trending agents. You can see agents that are published versus agents that are pending review. So somebody that creates an agent and submits it to the admin team for approval, you can see those there and publish those agents on behalf of the makers. And then people within your organization can begin using them. Like I said, there is that agent registry and agent map all within this thing. And it also, I get I'm rambling here, but it also includes all the kind of NCPs that and different tools that your agents are using. So those are some notable metrics that I think are within Agent 365. I want to talk about these other platforms very briefly. And so Agent 365 also seems to connect pretty seamlessly to Purview, Defender, and Entra. And so they kind of serve different purposes though. And so Purview, if I could boil down what Purview is going to do through a 365 for your agents is it's going to allow you to observe agent risk and specifically ensure compliance to different regulations that you may have based off of what country you're in or the industry that you are in. And something that was really cool that they showcased today was this compliance manager. I'm not necessarily going to get into that. I recommend that you look stuff up around the compliance manager. It's basically a tool that allows you to build out checklists and actions around, hey, let's make sure that the things we are building are compliant with our regulations. And so you can use a lot of AI tools to build all those things out. Many more things, but within Purview, Defender is going to be a great platform that allows you to not just, you know, resolve threats, but detect investigate and respond to them. And so this is a platform that's going to say when there's say like jailbreak attempts or violence or malicious prompts that are sent or different things that your agents are touching, this is going to be where it's going to detect 
again, detect, investigate, and respond to those threats. And the last one being Entra, where agents can kind of be given access just like users, even conditional access to where then they can be managed in that sort of sense. Like I said, a lot like users. So that is Agent 365. Apologies for not having it set up on my screen or anything like that. I would love to do something like that in the future. But again, first look at Agent 365 and how it's answering some of those big hangups or questions a lot of organizations have. And I think it's really cool. My name is Griffin Lickfeld. Thank you so much for seeing the end of the video. And I'm excited to connect with you in the next one.